What is going on guys, Edo Creep back with another video and we are introducing Rhoda, Rage of the Abyss has introduced a bunch of shark support and it's going to be insane so I'm going to show you a bunch of combos that you need to know if you're going to play the deck, especially one in particular so we're going to get started right now, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see more shark videos so we're going to start right now, this is going to be Harpooner plus Buzzsaw, Harpooner is literally just to get in the grave so you have another target for your Xyz or Mora, so we're gonna do that now. Xyz or Mora, we're gonna go to our Buzzsaw Shark, or our Bahamut Shark. We're gonna send the Xyz or Mora, go to our Toad. We're gonna go into our Fortress. Fortress is gonna detach two to add two. This is both of your bricks. You're gonna go into your Crystal Zero. Crystal Zero is gonna go into your Batman. Batman is so cool. Then we're just gonna use Batman to grab, because it grabs any Xyz card from your graveyard and adds to your hand, which could potentially get broken once we figure out like more, uh, combos but it's going to add the eggies or mora back to your hand and you're going to detach the two from the batman and we're going to special summon so this is the point of using the harpooner gets in the grave so you have two targets kind of bam bam special summon then we're going to do another bahamut shark here and then we're going to make the leveard virtue dragon the virtue dragon is going to search the what is basically sword so blackout here it's crazy it's a target fish sea serpent aqua and two cards your opponent controls destroy them and since it's worded that way even if one like moves it still destroys what it targets so it's a really really strong really strong drop card so yeah we're just gonna end there so you're you have a omni negate and a steel you have a uh full armored xyz is gonna get turned on by you like negating something you're gonna use this it's grave effect to recycle back the um, fortress and then you can activate full armored to attach back onto the Bahama shark your fortress is going to summon over the Bahama shark and then this is going to turn this on in the grave and you have a pop two which is pretty crazy and it also has a protection effect sometimes it comes up sometimes it doesn't but really really strong interruptions off of what is technically one card because you really use one card it's just that the harpooner definitely helps and this is all without committing your normal summon so just think if you had some other stuff in your hand so really really strong i like the virtue addition that you don't have to go into two toads or a kraken or whatever you can kind of do something else with it and the virtue stream is really really strong so let's get into a little bit more uh stronger combos Okay, this is going to introduce the Surfacing Big Jaws. Really, really strong card. Definitely what the deck needed to continue to play. So, I have the Surfacing Big Jaws and Foolish. You don't necessarily need the Foolish right now for this combo because, like, this is literally a one card starter. Finally, like, another one card starter. But this does, like, special summon it so you don't have to commit your normal summon. So, that's literally the only thing it's here for. But I'm really only doing surfacing big jaw shenanigans. So, really cool. We're going to activate the Foolish. The Foolish is going to send the Ice Bear. You'll see that in the next play. The uh, surfacing is going to activate special summon, search effect. Search the Abyss Shark, Abyss Shark effect. So this, in order to not get in the root, we're gonna search the Dead Reef here. Then we're gonna normal summon the Dead Reef. We're gonna activate and we're gonna send the Xyz or more. Xyz or more plays a big part in a lot of the combos here, which is really cool just cause it helps you like, just have explosive boards. It's really strong. Go into our first Bahamut. And that is summon another five. So you're gonna be in a beer proof, which is cool. We're gonna go into Xyz Armor Fortress. We're gonna detach two to add two. Then we're gonna go Crystal Zero, and then Batman. Batman's gonna get back the Xyz or Mora, and then we're gonna detach two, special summon. Then we got two in the grave, so we're gonna grab them. Bam, bam. Then we're gonna go into our second uh, Bahamut Shark, and then we're gonna go into our La Virtue, Virtue's Effect. And we're gonna search our Virtue Stream, and then we're just gonna set two, and we're gonna stop here. So there's two different ways you can do this. You can just make the Kraken here, and then when you're playing Activist Effect, you can totally, and then you can grab your Armored Fortress, so then you can activate your full Armored Xyz. This will special summon the Fortress over the Bahamut Shark, so then this will be live in the grave for your Batman to use this effect to attack. So still really, really strong. So have Virtue Stream, you have the Omni Negate, you have the Attach, and you can have your, um, your uh crag in here so just off of basically one card it's just as a special summon so that lets you not commit your normal summon so just in case you get hand trapped you can summon something else and essentially do most of the same stuff like it really creates like if you have a spell and you have your uh surfacing and then you have a buzzsaw shark you can almost literally do the same thing so, like if your your surfacing is ash you can just summon buzz shark and just just go off so it's really really cool that you can end on this 
really strong. So let's get into the next one that actually uses uh, Ice Bear. All right, this is literally the same thing except I actually use Ice Bear. So I'm, I'm gonna do a lot stronger board that has a little bit uh, better showcasing. So we're just gonna go, I get the foolish. Then we're gonna special summon the surfacing. So this time surfacing is gonna search the uh, bus saw shard, like I said earlier, because like you're gonna actually use the ice bear here. So you can just normal summon this. Still plays through the Biru, by the way. So you're gonna target, special summon the shark drake. So targeting another shark, if you can, you should, because that plays around a uh, ghost ogre, which kind of still sees some play. So if you target another card, you get ogre, you still special summon because it checks what you targeted in order to special summon something else. So even if this gets popped by ogre, you'll still special summon something else, basically. So Keep going, we're gonna get the new Drake Shark here, which does play a part in the combo. We're gonna go Bahamut Shark, attach the Drake Shark, go into our total lead. Then we're gonna go into our Fortress Blaze. We're gonna attach two to draw the bricks. Then we're going to actually activate the Ice Bear. This is gonna send a water monster as we level five or higher, and then you're gonna add back any water monster. So you're just gonna send Abyss to add Abyss, basically. Sometimes you send something and then add something else. It depends on what's in your grave and how you're gonna do your plays. Then we're gonna go to Abyss Shark's effect, and then gonna search the Xyz Remora. Told you Remora comes up a lot. And we're gonna go into a Kraken here, and since we can, this is gonna open up our field space here. So we're gonna go into our Crystal Zero. We're gonna uh, Dark Lancer, and then we're gonna detach two. Make sure you're uh, detaching the fortress and that your um, Drake Shark is in the grave already. Fortress here, or um, X either more here. Gonna Shark Summon two, and then we're going to our second Bahamut Shark. Then we're gonna activate. Then we're gonna go into our La Virtue. You can do La Virtue here, or you can do another Toad. It's completely up to you. Then we're gonna search a virtue stream and then we're gonna activate virtue streams effect he's gonna he you send from you detach first and then you're gonna add so you can detach as long as you have a fish already in the grave you can detach and then you can add what you detached if that makes sense like you can literally get back advantage which is crazy so you already immediately have the advantage next turn so especially if you're getting uh your your um surfacing you already have your armor and exe spell so you can immediately activate the spell and then this turns this on to free special you're still not coming here normal summon. So you still have a bunch of plays next turn. So you're just gonna end it on this. So you can activate your totally to negate something. If it's a back row, you can steal it. Then you're gonna activate its other effect to add back your Drake Shark. Drake Shark's gonna special summon it because if it's just added to the hand, it doesn't say from where. So if it's added from the banished graveyard or deck to hand, you can special summon it. And that's gonna turn on your um, full arm and XEs, so you can go into a dweller, you can go to another Kragan, whatever you have in your extra decks. So really, really strong, and that plays around Dark Ruler no more, so if you get Dark Ruler, your opponent's gonna activate something else. You can just chain this, even though it's negated, and second effect to recycle is not negated. So you can do that, recycle back Drake Shark, special summon it, and you can summon something else, so maybe like a second Kragan or something, so you can still play from there. And this still, of course, that has this floating effect, so if it does get destroyed, it still activates the special summon spawn, so, a bunch of stuff you can still do under getting like uh, board broken, basically. So it's still really strong. So now let's get to the next one. All right, this is what you do if you draw one of your bricks. So usually people play two of the Armored Xyz spell and traps, full Armored Xyz and one of the spell equips. So they'll, if you draw one, a lot of times it's hard for you to use your surfacing like effectively to where you, it doesn't have any overlays so you can rank up into the other XZ monsters and get to your Batman. So this is how you can do that. So it's gonna go through the steps, normal summon surfacing. Of course, like you can use spell, whatever, free special, but it's just basically, you're gonna actually search your Drake Shark and this is what I was talking about that is able, it, if it's added to hand, you can special summon it. So you're gonna go into your, your Bahamut Shark, that's still gonna make you nib proof or you know, bait out your first interruption from your opponent. You're gonna go into your fortress, but you're not gonna activate the effect. You're just gonna keep it there. Then you're gonna activate your Abyss Shark. Your Abyss Shark's gonna search your X user more. Then you're gonna remove both overlays from your fortress. Special summon from the graveyard. Grab your two, you're gonna make your second your second Bahamut Shark. So this right here is where you you have to, if you're trying to do this correctly, you're going to make the La Virtue Dragon because its other effect is actually really, really good. And it actually helps you like correct your hand in a sense, like since you've already drew one. So you're gonna get your Virtue Stream and then you're gonna activate, or you can go into your, um, your Kraken here and then you're gonna activate your Virtue Stream effect. So he can 
you can remove full overlay from one and give it to another. So you're gonna take it from the Kraken and you're gonna give it to the Fortress, which is pretty strong. Because now that the Fortress has one overlay, you can remove that overlay and then you can add your other one. So even if you already drew one, you can just add one here, because since it only has one, and then you can climb up into your Crystal Zero and climb up into your Batman. Then you can activate the effect. It's gonna grab the Xyz or Mora, and then the Xyz or Mora is gonna detach Make sure you detach from the attach the fortress and you're going to detach the shark drake so you can use it next turn and you're going to special summon it so this is going to be the lone fish that you're going to xc summon with the drake after you use your um totally awesome so you drew one you were still able to get the other one and still end on basically the same board which is pretty pretty crazy so you can do that whether you draw one or not. So even if you draw one, you're able to correct it. If you don't draw it and you still have your um, surfacing in your Abyss Shark, you do the same thing. So let me know what you guys think. If you have some better combos or some feedback, please post it in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. That's going to be it. This is Creed. I'm out.